Yo boys, it is DJ Last Power here. Um, time to do a non-edited video. First non-edited video back. So that's cool. Um, today, very simple video. Arm shark, uh, bare bones clone, and the uh, the one Nami Damascus Live Blade clone. So, let's start with this guy. A lot easier to talk about, not as crazy. So, uh, sorry for the background noise, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm outside, touching grass. So let's do it. Uh, Arm Shark, Bare Bones Clone. Uh, straight up, if you've ever flipped a real aluminum bare bones trainer, then you've flipped this. They are one to one. Really the only like crazy significant and like, I mean significant difference is the fact that this has tap. Like, It's nothing crazy, but you know, that's something about it that's a little bit different from like the real deal because pretty much every real aluminum bare bones that I flipped was like really good tolerances. So just keep that in mind. Um, it does have normal hardware Zen pins like the real deal. Uh, I don't know if they're T8 or T6. Damn, I picked the fucking worst day to do this video, but I'm already out here, so I'm doing it. Um, I don't know what hardware the Zen pins are, but I know the pivots are T8, uh, maybe T9. Some, it's one of those two. Um, so yeah, uh, let's do quick sound and tolerance. Fucking worst time for me to do it, but. So yeah, its tolerances are really good, nothing crazy, obviously, again, a little bit of top, but like nothing insane. Um, flipping experience, again, if you flipped a real aluminum trainer bare bones, then you flip this. Very neutral, very slight, very, and I mean like unbelievably slight handle bias. It's nothing crazy. Um, handles are a little slick, because it's... I'm gonna kill myself. Um, handles are a little slick because obviously it's raw anodized aluminum, but you know, that's just how it be. Um, trying to think of other things to say. Ladders kind of are a bitch because there's no jimping, um, so that sucks. Uh, Blade crowned very nicely, so doing rollovers and all that feel real good, because the spine's very comfy. Uh, handles are blocky, again, like the real deal, just that chamfer, but fanning doesn't feel weird, and rollovers obviously feel real good, so, you know. Okay, I guess that's it. Like, I don't really, I don't have anything else crazy to say about this guy. Other than that it's just, you know, an aluminum bare bones trainer. So it's, it's nothing crazy, but what is crazy is how, like, identical it is to the real deal. So yeah, that's it for this guy. Let's get on to the main one that most of you guys uh, clicked on this video for, the One Nami clone. Uh, first, let's just admire the blade. If it'll focus, that'd be really cool. There it goes. Some beautiful raindrop Damascus. I've gotten a lot of DMs about it. I'm pretty sure it's real Damascus. I don't think it's printed, but I could be wrong. Um, so let's talk about it. How does this guy flip? Um, how do I even start? It flips really fucking good. Like, I'm gonna need to get another one of these. God damn it. I'm gonna need to get another one of these because they flip so fucking good and they're like within my preference of everything. Um, it's just right now I'm in need of cash, so I had to sell it. But I'm definitely gonna be getting another one because this guy is fucking gas. Um, 
start with sound intolerances. So yeah, tolerances, uh, tolerances are fucking great. Um, no tap, minimal play. Uh, now, how does it compare to a Nami? Because that's the thing everyone wants to know. How does it feel compared to a Nami? Um, not even a little bit, in terms of flipping. Um, in terms of flipping, this does not feel like a Nami. However, in terms of handle feel... Well, that's something totally different. These handles are actually one-to-one -to, -one to the same dimensions and curvature and everything as a real Nami. Um, if this was an edited video, I'd put the picture up on screen, but it's not. So just trust me. Um, source, I made it the fuck up. Uh, I didn't. It, like, it actually is one-to-one. -one. It's on my server, if you want to look on there. I have the picture of it. Um, but I'm not editing this video, because there's no fucking reason for me to, and I'm lazy as hell. So, just trust me, um, the blade is not the same as a real Nami, it's better, if it'll focus, it's better uh, dimensions wise to a real Nami than the Bally Plus one, but still isn't one to one, but that doesn't really fucking matter to be honest with you, um, because if you're trying to get something close to a real Nami, uh, you're not buying the one that's fucking pinsless, so, yeah. Uh, now let's talk about pinsless real quick. You guys need to stop being so fucking bitchy about when a knife is pinsless. Especially the one. The one has proven that they're really good at doing pinsless knives, and y'all fuckers still be like, yeah, I'm not buying it because it's pinsless, and it's gonna fucking die in two weeks. They're like, shut the fuck up, bro. Pinsless is good. Look at this shit. Like, I'm squeezing like a motherfucker right now. Like, <clears throat> I'm like, I ain't no bitch, but like, that thing's not closing. Like, you're good. The handle gap is just fine. Fuck. But, like... Dude, you guys are so fucking prissy and pissy and bitchy over fucking pinsless designs, bro. Like, it makes it so that motherfuckers don't get scammed thinking it's the real deal. While also making it unique. And you guys just cry. Like, just fucking buy. Buy pinsless. It's good. Like, good pinsless is good. Let, let me, like, clarify. Not all pinsless is, is good. Some pinsless is very bad. However, the one pinsless has proven to be very fucking good. They know how to design pinsless ballys. Um, maybe JK Design should take a book out of the fucking clone makers and design something good that's pinsless. Besides the orca pussy. Um, but, you know... It's just like, this bitch is really good. Like, a while ago when I made that video um, about the Monarch V2, the one clone, and I said that it was a contender for possibly new King of Clones, uh, nah, this is it. The one Nami is 100% it. Like, I know we bitch about, like, floating washer systems, but, like... I don't have to touch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I replaced the pivots um, with these nice M2.5 by 5 millimeter pivots so that uh, they're a little better because these stock ones, the heads are way too shallow, like where you actually put in the bit. But these new ones are a lot deeper that I got. So they don't strip as easy. And that's really all it needs because so far, that's another thing. The one's floating washer system has been pretty fucking on point. I have not gotten one floating washer knife from the one that has been undersized. They've all been fantastic. So, like, cope. And the thing is, is if you want to make it, like, normal bushing washer system, you can. Just use extra hardware from an older the one knife, because I'm pretty sure the bushings are the same diameter still. You just need to swap them out, and then swap the washers, and you're good. So it's like, they're pretty gas. They're just getting a lot of shit for no reason. But the one Nami, 
100% deserves the hype. It's a little overhyped, but it's it's the closest that we've gotten to a knife that's been this hyped up and actually like lived up to it. This knife is fucking awesome. Um, as I said, the handles feel the exact same as a real Nami, but the flipping experience is way different. Uh, it's very neutral um, with the handle screws in. Without them in, it's a little blade bias, um, and it doesn't really have a ton of handle weight because when you take the screws out, that's a lot of the handle weight that it has, and blah, 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 blah. Um, but dude, this thing's really fucking good. Um, it does every kind of trick you want. Rollovers are fucking fantastic. Fanning. Obviously, fanning is great. Like, you can see how even it is. Like, Fuck. Um, and then, to show rollovers, zero G. See what I mean? Like, it... It just carries all momentum fucking amazingly. Really, the only downside for some people is that it's a little hefty um, compared to the Nami. Like, hefty and heavy quotations. It's like 4 ounces, 4.2 ounces, I think. It's not, like, crazy heavy. Might be a little heavier than that, but you get what I'm saying. It's not, like, heavy, heavy. Um, but to some people, that is. So, just keep that in mind when you're buying one of these. fucking bitch uh, but it's like it's very good it is very 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 good I highly recommend this I believe this to be the new king of clones and honestly from how well the pins list is designed I believe you might actually even be able to beat this so don't quote me on that I said might not definitively you might not be able to but in my personal opinion you might be able to Ooh, fuck. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to say. I don't think so. I think that's it. Uh, let's do scores. Uh, first, uh, let's do the let's do the, the bare bones. Um, for price point and how it flips, I'd say I'd give this like 7.5 out of 10. It's nothing crazy, it's nothing revolutionary, it's not the best knife out there, um, but it's definitely good. Like, same thing as Will Hirsch's score, like a 5 is a middle of the road, so saying this is like a 7.5, it's still good, it's definitely above average, um, especially for a price point, um, but I just think there's better aluminum trainers out there, um, which speaking of, I did order two new aluminum trainer clones that will be here soon i ordered them literally today so i don't know when the fuck they're gonna show up uh, it said like march 9th so we'll see about that uh but they're pretty uh they're pretty interesting to say the least they're interesting clones so we'll see but yeah 7.5 on this guy 7.5 out of 10 the nami oh boy the nami what am i gonna score them so, considering the price point's about $130 retail, with shipping and taxes and everything. And, you know, it takes about a month to get here. Um, tolerances, balance, weight, and all that. I'd say this is the, like, the very closest we can get to a 10 in terms of my preferences and what I like to flip. Um, for me, this is, like, borderline 10. There are very, very few things I would change about this knife... Um, really the only big one being better jimping. If this thing had better jimping, this would be a 10. If all it needs is better jimping. There's no jimping on the inside. And the jimping on the outside is exactly like the real Nami, so it's fucking useless. But if it had good jimping, like, this would be a 10. This bitch is insane. Price point, flippability, like... And looks, the Damascus is sexy. But, like, yeah, no, this would be, this would be a 10. 100% this would be a 10. So, yeah. That's about it for me, boys. Um, I don't think there's anything else for me to really say. So, yeah. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, quick update for those who are uh, fucking with the Miata.
uh, the Miata should be back up and running and alive next week. So expect car videos soon. Uh, speaking of car videos, me and a friend, possibly a couple other friends, but me and a friend right now are going to be start doing the for, uh, the Fortnite. We're going to start doing car videos. Um, because, you know, I got a lot of car friends and shit. So, yeah. We're going to be doing car videos. We're going to go to car meets. We're going to be modding cars, doing work and all that uh, on video. So, if you want to see that, um, I will make a video whenever we start uploading um, on that channel. And, uh, yeah. For all you who want to see car content, there will be a dedicated video or dedicated channel for car content. Because I know some of you don't like car content on this channel. So, that's about it for me. I will let you go. Uh, I will let you guys. Sorry. I'll let you guys know uh, when the Miata's alive. And I'll let you know when that car channel's alive. And uh, you guys go subscribe to it if you want to see car content. So, yeah. That's about it for me, boys. I'll see you later. Fuck you.